Welcome to this video. The main discussion point of this video is the conversion between logarithmic equation and exponential equation and the use of this conversion. Let's start with 10 square equal to 100. If we want to write this exponential form into the logarithmic form, in that case, we will write log 10 base 100 equal to. In this case, we write this 10 here as a base of logarithm. This 100 here and this 2 here. That is 10 square equal to 100. We can write this one as logarithmic form as log 10 base 100 equal to 2. In that case, we just write this 10 here, this 100 here and this 2 here. Okay, let's see another example. 2 cube equal to 8. We know this one. So, if we want to write this 2 cube equal to 8 in logarithmic form, in that case, we have to write log 2 base 8 equal to 3. This 2 we write as a base of logarithm and this 8 we write here and finally 3 is written here. So, the exponential form 2 cube equal to 8, if we write it in logarithmic form, we will write log 2 base 8 equal to 3. In this way, if we want to write a to the power y equal to x, this exponential equation in logarithmic equation form, in that case, we will write log a base x equal to y. This a is written as a base of logarithm. This x is written here and this y is here. So, log a base x equal to y is the logarithmic equation form of a to the power y equal to x, this exponential equation. Here, we use variables. So, we can say this one is the exponential equation and logarithmic equation conversion formula. Since, the logarithm and exponential is the inverse process. So, let's see the reverse process or inverse process of this conversion formula. That is, in now, we convert the logarithmic equation in exponential form. So, the logarithmic equation is log a base x equal to y. If we want to write this logarithmic equation as exponential equation, in that case, we have to write a to the power y equal to x. So, this is the exponential equation of the previous logarithmic equation. So, let's see one example. That is log 2 base 4 equal to 2. If we want to write this logarithmic equation as exponential equation, in that case, we have to write 2 is square equal to 4. So, this is the exponential form of the logarithmic equation log 2 base 4 equal to 2. Now, let's see the use of conversion formula that is log a base x equal to y which implies a to the power y equal to x. Let's solve some problem using this conversion formula. Let's see first problem that is if log x base 1 by 8 equal to minus 2 then the what is the value of x? The easiest way to solve this type of problem to use the conversion formula between logarithmic equation and exponential equation. That is log a base x equal to y, we have to convert this equation in a to the power y equal to x. So, here we just use this logarithmic equation into the exponential form. Here, log x base 1 by 8 equal to minus 2. So, according to the conversion formula, we have to write x to the power minus 2 equal to 1 by 8. That is, x to the power minus 2 equal to 1 by 8. So, for x to the power minus 2, we can write 1 by x squared. So, 1 by x squared equal to 1 by 8. So, taking reciprocal, we can write that is x squared equal to 8. So, the value of x is the square root of 8. For this case, we have get two values, that is plus minus the square root of 8. Since this x is the base of logarithm and we know the value of the base of logarithm never be negative. So, we just take the only positive value, that is the value of x is equal to square root of 8. In this way, we can solve this type of many problem using this co the conversion formula between logarithm and exponential equation. So, let's see another example. That is, if log x base 3 by 2 equal to minus half, then what is the value of x? The similar one, the solution. In this case, 
we again use the conversion formula between logarithm and exponent. That is log a base x equal to y that implies that a to the power y equal to x. So here log x base 3 by 2 equal to minus half. So we can write x to the power minus half which is equal to 3 by 2. For this x to the power minus half we can write 1 by x to the power half which is equal to 3 by 2 and we can write x to the power half equal to 2 by 3. That's the inverse of this term. Taking a square on the both sides we have x equal to 4 by 9. If we taking x square in that case this power will be cancelled and the right side will be squared that is 2 square equal to 4 and 3 square equal to 9. So the value of this x is 4 by 9. So the solution of the equation is x equal to 4 by 9. Let's solve another type of problem. If log x base square root of 2 equal to 1 by 6, then what is the value of x? The solution using the conversion formula between logarithm and exponential equation, that is log a base x equal to y, which imply a to the power y equal to x. Here, the given part is log x base is square root of 2, which is equal to 1 by 6. So, according to the conversion formula, we can write this x to the power 1 by 6, which is equal to square root of 2. So, x to the power 1 by 6, which is equal to 2 to the power 1 by 2, because we know for the square root, the power will be half. So, taking power 6 on the both side to cancelling this power, that is 1 by 6, and make this x free. So, we can write x equal to 2 to the power half whole to the power 6. If we take whole to the power 6 on the both side, in the left side the x will be free and the right side 2 to the power half whole to the power 6. So we can write this one as 2 to the power 6 by 2 which is 2 to the power 3. We know the 2 to the power 3 is 8. So the solution of this equation is x equal to 8. Let's solve another problem. If log x base 4 equal to 0 0.4, then what is the value of x? The solution using the conversion formula, that is log a base x equal to y, which implies a to the power y equal to x, we can write log x base 4 equal to 0 0.4 as x to the power 0 0.4, which is equal to 4. So taking the power 1 by 0 0.4 on the both side, we have, that is x equal to 4 to the power 1 by 0 0.4. That is, if we want to cancel this power 0 0.4 and make x free, in that case we have to take the power 1 by 0 0.4 on the both side. So, the, this 0 0.4 and this 0 0.4 will be cancelled. In that case, x will be free and the right hand side will get x to the power 1 by 0 0.4. Now, we want to find the value of this term without using calculator. So, we can write this one is x equal to 4 to the power 10 by 4. The value of 4 to the power 10 by 4 we can write that is 4 to the power 5 by 2 which is equal to 4 to the power 5 whole to the power half. For the 4 to the power 5 we can write 1 0 to 4 and whole to the power half. So the, this gives the value 32. So we can write the value of x is equal to 32. This is our solution. So if log x base 4 equal to 0 0.4, in that case x equal to 32. Let's solve another type of problem. That is if log a base x equal to 1, log a base y equal to 2, and log a base z equal to 3. That is here, there are three variables. That is x, y, and z. And as a base, there is another variable that is a. So find the value of log a base x cube, y square, and z. So, to solve this type of problem, we use the conversion formula between logarithm and exponent. In that case, we can write that is log a base x equal to y, which implies a to the power y equal to x. So, for the first term, that is log a base x equal to 1. So, in this case, we can write a to the power 1 equal to x. So, from this part, we get the value of x, that is x equal to a. From the second part, similarly, we can write log a base y equal to 2. So we can write a square equal to y. So we get the value of y which is a square. For the third term, similarly we can write log a base z which is equal to 3. So a cube equal to 
z that is a to the power 3 which is equal to z using this part we get the value of z that is z equal to a q so now we have the value of x y and z if we substitute the value of x y and z here we can easily get the value of log a base x cube y square divided by z substitute the value of x y z in this expression that we get log a base for x we, we put the value a so x cube that is a cube for y we substitute the value a square so y square so a square whole square and for the z we substitute the value a cube here that is a cube after simplification we get the value of this term is equal to a to the power 4 so the value of this term will be 4 we know log a base a to the power n is equal to n so here the log a base a to the power 4 the value will be 4 if this base and this number will be same then the power will be the value of this term so log a base a to the power 4 which is equal to 4 so this is our solution that the value of a base x cube y square divided by z is equal to 4 in this case we use another uh, formula of logarithm that is log a base a to the power n which is equal to n that is the base and this number will be same in that case the power will be the value of this term 